all right all right welcome back to eyes open media we're going to look at the map we're going to talk about baghdadi and then we're going to talk about um uh, the uh ethereum event that's coming up uh, or the ethereum conference that's coming up that's going to have some big announcements on the april 15th so watch the price of ethereum you know before the 15th um also we're going to talk about the rest of the cryptocurrencies and we're going to talk about what you guys have to say on Facebook, you know, 365, okay? So, first up, let's talk about the map. Now, I did see Roger's post, and he says, the map hasn't changed today, okay? So, let's look at the map and see if he's right, okay? So, down here, hasn't changed. It doesn't even look like we have this bridge right here, but we actually do have this bridge. Um, and... If you look at this, we actually are supposed to be over here by now because if you look at the, we're going to look at the old district map and it looks like we're over, we should be at least over here by now. But okay, and this hasn't changed in a long time, like four weeks. Okay, this part right here. This has come up a little bit, but this hasn't changed in about four weeks. Okay, and then um, we got the green back over in this they gave us the green back in like the 23rd of march and then they took it away and now they put the green back on and now we're up here and we got some green over here we got some green here we got some green there we got some green we got a little bit more green over here today and this is all looked like it's the same so we're approaching this this 80 percent uh pointer but like i said before 80 percent this all needs to be green and this all needs to be green for 80%. Just, just getting this thing up here is not 80%. Now, if you look at the um, map that they're showing on TV, that map isn't moving either. So what's what it looks like is happening is that they've been caught red-handed. And what they're doing is they're allowing this Nineveh Command Center map to catch up. So this Nineveh Command Center map is pro almost, it, it's almost like, near where they're at on the real time map i think it needs to come up here some more some more green some more orange up here and some green and uh and it get like maybe like about right there and then they got to come up here with some orange and green as well so the nineveh commands on the map is still behind it's about a week behind now uh to the map we've seen on tv um uh, <clears throat> so and they and everything has stopped right here so they haven't go we haven't gone any further than that uh looks like they're just worried about um, Old Musul District and Telahar. That's all it looks like they're worried about. They're worried about those two and, and they're worried about Baghdadi. That's it. Now, I believe that once we get Baghdadi, it's basically a wrap. Um, you know, our body will feel comfortable or that Musul is completed once he has Baghdadi. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, let's take a look at Old Musul District map. Okay. So as you guys see, this hasn't this hasn't moved in a long time, as you guys can see here. We're not moving. Um, somebody on Twitter says that uh, Old Musul District or or Musul Western Musul and as a whole is room to room, door to door, house to house. This is why it's taking forever. So that was a good that was a good point because it's not really a war any longer, as they continue to tell us. It's mainly cleansing, mopping, and editing door to door, room to room, house to house. And that's taking a long time. Now, if if we you know if they if they you know they had five hundred thousand troops in this area going, you know, going door to door, room to room, then it'll take it wouldn't be that long. But when you see the videos, there's like thirty of them walking around the villages. That's gonna take forever. Um, I don't I don't know where all the other troops are at. Uh, maybe they're just protecting the borders and stuff like that. But uh, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a long time to get this done. Uh, it could take all of April to get this done. Really, if they if that's what they're doing, going door to door, room to room, and that's what it looks like they're doing on the videos. So I don't know how long it's gonna take to get this done, guys and girls. We we we've been waiting forever on this. Um, but they get this done. And they get Telahar, it's Musul is over, right? Musul is, dead, is a done deal. So, you know, every day we get closer. That's all I can say, you know. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's talk about Baghdadi here. It says, Baghdadi trapped inside Musul and sources likely hit him. Okay. Uh, I did see something about 
um, the 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 forces were protecting Baghdadi, which was kind of weird. Um, let's see here. Okay, it says Russian. Just so this is from the Russian agency. Uh, Iraqi military source said that the uh, that his country's troops likely to be a leader of Daesh al Baghdadi has occurred in the siege of Mosul and its end came close. Okay, they explained that uh, the most likely uh, conclusion of the Iraqi military and infiltration attempt uh, by elements of Daesh 10 days ago in a convoy of vehicles for will drive back by the few tanks to the city of Tel Ahar, Iraq, near Mosul from Syria. Okay, this is like the ninth time we've heard Baghdadi's either been injured, captured, uh, you know, close to being captured. He's inside Mosul. He's outside of Mosul. He's outside Syria. He's inside Syria. Like, we, we keep hearing stupid stuff, right? So, sources did not enslave uh, be Baghdadi wounded in Mosul after bombing and gathers, gathering dash on a Syrian-Iraqi border recently. Yeah, we heard about that. We heard that he... Uh, he got hurt that Baghdadi got hurt um on the border of Syria and Iraq from airstrikes that Donald Trump sent. Uh I guess Donald Trump knew where he was at and uh they they fired airstrikes and also um a body then um was also um able to fire airstrikes in that same in that around that area and it looks like Baghdadi was hurt in that area. Um, but we don't know for sure. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know who's telling the truth and who's not. They've been making up. They've been making up a lot of stories on Baghdadi for a long time. So if we can get, if if they can show and tell us that Baghdadi is done, then it's it'll, it'll be a done deal, right? We, everything everything will magically appear, right? If they give us Baghdadi this week, let's go out on a limb and say that they're gonna give us Baghdadi by the fifteenth. You know what I mean? So let's say they give us Baghdadi this week. Let's say they give us Baghdadi to, to um, Tuesday going into a Wednesday because that's when they always do big breaking news. So let's say they got Baghdadi Tuesday into a Wednesday. Guess what's going to happen to Tel Ahar and Old Mosul district? Oh, we 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 um we stormed the area and it's it's magically completed. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Okay, so. Let's see if they give us Baghdadi on a Tuesday night into a Wednesday. Okay, let's see if they give us Baghdadi Tuesday night into a Wednesday. I, I'm, so let me see. What was what, that date? That's uh, the 4th into a, the 5th. So Tuesday night into Wednesday. Let's see if they see any, let's see if we see any reports of a breaking historic news of, of uh, Baghdadi being captured. And um, <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, Old Musa District, we're at the... We're at the um, Nuri Mosque in Old Musul District, and and we're claiming victory. <laughs> you know, on a, on a on a on a third on a Wednesday or a Thursday, and oh my goodness, Telahar is uh is completed <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that, that, that's exactly what's gonna happen if they give us back, Daddy, right? Um, or they can wait. They can wait and make us suffer. And they can go as slow as nails and and uh, and complete Mosul by June and and then give us Baghdadi in the summer. It's up to them. Okay. Um. That's why. That's why. That's, that's one of the reasons why we we bring you guys cryptocurrencies. Uh. You know, and other things because these people can play games all the way. They can play games as long as they want. Uh. <clears throat> even with Donald Trump in the office. Because I don't believe Donald Trump will be will, will, will come out boldly and and say um, Iraq enough is enough, right? I mean, he did talk about their oil and say that he will take their oil, but he hasn't really said anything bold since he met a body. And so they they could Donald Trump would would let them go to the summertime if he you know and not say a word, and then maybe he might he might probably say a word if they went to the fall, and then he he'll play okay that's enough you guys had enough time. But he'll definitely allow them to go. He'll definitely allow Iraq to go to the summer and waste everybody's time. So that's why I bring you guys this so we can make some more money other in other places. Okay. So um, like you got like a lot of you guys um you know got into got some free Ripple coins so that was cool. 
and then you saw the price of Ripple just go up like crazy. Um, Mike Mike uh, did the video <clears throat> right before the WebBot report and had Ripple at point zero zero nine, right? No, it was yeah point zero zero nine, right under one cent. Then the WebBot report comes out and says Ripple Coin and Ethereum are going to skyrocket the end of April from big news that are going to be coming out from these two companies. And then Ethereum is going to, uh, and then RippleCoin will parallel uh, the banking system. As the banking system start to crumble, uh, RippleCoin will start to rise higher. And then the, and then the WebBot report said that Ethereum will, uh, will continue to rise into the summer and as they call it the new Bitcoin. And then, and then they're going to, and then at, around the summertime, they're going to then crash it. Basically, they're going to do a massive sell-off on Ethereum, which is great because look, I mean, it, it goes from 50 to let's say 200, 300, and then the elites that are in, which they're going to announce who those elite people are. We already know the build, the Bilderberg group, which is of course the elites of the elites, are part of now Ethereum. So we know the price is going to skyrocket. Um, but I want them to. At this conference, I guess they might meant they might tell the world at the conference. So if they tell the world at the conference that the Bilderberg Group is part, of, uh, you know, is part of Ethereum, it is going to skyrocket, right? So, <clears throat> so I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to skyrocket um, before the conference and then after the conference when they start when they mention all the names of the people. So. Big conference coming up for Ethereum on the 14th of April. Some heavy hitters, okay? Um, and there's going to be some major announcements for the organizations that will officially announce they are joining the Ethereum Alliance. And we already told you, one of them is supposed to be the Bilderberg Group, which we all know on this channel is the top of the pyramid of secret societies. Um, and uh, they run, basically, the Bilderberg Group is one of the... Um, is the groups that run the world they run the entertainment industry um they run hollywood they run everything right so um yeah it's one of the groups that run of course you got the rothschilds the the um <clears throat> you know the rockefellers the rothschilds the duponts and all the other uh, these other um families that control the world's uh, you know wealth but then you have the Bilderberg Group is where your favorite inner, which you guys should not be idolizing and following, but your favorite rappers and entertainers and pop stars, they, um, <clears throat> the Bilderberg Group controls them. You know, they send, uh, they, they send Zionist puppets, you know, to be their handlers. This is why when you see pop stars or rappers, you see a Jewish person uh usually somewhere around okay um justin bieber right he has a jewish handler uh you know britney spears everybody has a jewish some type of jewish zionist handler and that comes from the bilderberg group and they control everything so the fact that the bilderberg group is going to be um uh part of ethereum which they wish ethereum has already announced that they are going to be um but i, I think they're going to do it to the world on this conference which is going to be uh, and I don't know who else is going to be part of the new Ethereum alliance as well. But either way, it's going to explode the prices of Ethereum. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be something to see. Um, let's move on here. Let's actually check out the prices here. I know Ethereum is down today because Bitcoin is up nice. Uh, okay, so Ethereum is at 49.56. Um, good, good place to grab some more. Um, so I'm gonna try to grab some more tomorrow. Hopefully, it's still in around 49, 48 range tomorrow. I'll look at Ripple Coin. Ripple Coin is at six cents. I just seen it at four cents. Now it's back to six cents. So Ripple Coin is just killing it. Um, like I said, we we uh we we you know Mike saw it at point zero zero nine. We we you know he told us about GitHub and how to get thirty Ripple Coins for free. We all jumped on it and got thirty uh, Ripple Coins. And then I also loaded Ripple Coins on Coin Payments, um, and then everybody, uh, you guys, some of you guys also loaded up on Ripple Coin, and uh, we took it from one cent all the way up to six cents now. So cool! I still own some Ripple Coins. I didn't sell everything today, but I, I sell a lot today, and uh, I'm gonna hold the rest to see if we can see maybe twenty cents, you know? Because uh, the WebBot report was talking about late April. 
um, not early April. I think people jumping on it now because the, well, because of the WebBot report, they want to get in. But the WebBot report was talking about big news coming out late April. So it could see a we what we could see is uh maybe a dumping, uh, you know, in, in the next couple of days uh, in RippleCoin, and everybody's gonna jump into Ethereum because of the the big conference that's coming, and and Ethereum's gonna probably rise to 60, 70, 80 bucks. And people might dump Ripple Coin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna watch Ripple Coin, and if it comes back down, like I told Mike, if it comes back down to to the ones, uh, I'm gonna reload it again, you know, because the WebBot report said late April that big news from Ripple Coin uh, and Ethereum will be coming out. So <clears throat> if it did drop back uh, uh, to ones, I will grab some there and then just watch it, see if I can get a, a nice cat bounce off of some. Uh, some news okay so and maybe it might never come down it, it might not it might just continue up to 15 cents then then go to 20 cents 30 cents and maybe never come back who knows um dosh is uh still down again so uh i heard crypto um uh, he did a live video and he was like dosh looks like it's settling down here and uh, might be a buy, but it can it's continuing down. It's down nine percent even today. So, Dodge continues to fall. Um, somebody, I think he said somebody told him that 55, 55 bucks is where Dodge is going to settle at. So, we'll see. We'll see if Dodge comes down to fifty five. Remember, it was over a hundred bucks just a couple of days ago. <laughs> now it's at sixty two. Um, but it did go from two bucks to a hundred plus. So you got to remember that as well. So, so somewhere around 50, 55 might be a good spot to start buying some Dosh if you want to, if you want to, um, you know, watch it go back to 100 because it, it probably will go back to 100 in the future. Okay, so let's take actually take a look at Bitcoin on on Coin Payments. I mean Coinbase. As you see, Bitcoin is at 1,115, so it's back over 1,100, and this is Sunday, so you know. So Sunday, Bitcoin is exploding. That doesn't happen, okay? So let's see what happens when when um let's see what happens when China and Japan wake up in the morning here. Uh, you know, it's three a.m. It's three a.m. in China. So China, Japan is around three a.m. So let's see what happens when the Eastern world wake up in a couple of hours, and let's see if they they if they sell or if they take the price even higher. Okay, back to thirteen hundred. Okay, uh, 1350 and test the new test highs. Okay, so like I told you guys before, if if we didn't hear anything about this Bitcoin Unlimited, Bitcoin would have already tested 2300 and will be uh, on its way back to 2300 now from a from a 2300 test back down to about 1750 and then back up to test 2300 and then break out of that and then headed up to 2800 and then 3000. That's where we would be right now. If for Bitcoin, if we didn't have no talks about this Bitcoin Unlimited, and remember, when Bitcoin goes to 2,000, everything, everything in your account in MPCA, which is the first link in the description section, if you guys want to join that, um, that that it's, it's a Bitcoin rep share. Um, everything in your MPCA account would double, right? So, could because you know, because if you're earning a hundred dollars a day inside the MPCA when you convert that money over to dollars in your in your in your wallet or if you send it to your bank account and they convert it over to dollars well if bitcoins at 2000 your 100 your 100 dollars worth of bitcoin converted over to dollars is 200 bucks not 100 bucks you see what i'm saying so if bitcoin goes to 2000 everything in our in, in our um in our MPCA accounts double, which is freaking awesome. So if Bitcoin goes to 3,000 by the year and end of the year, everything in our accounts triple. <laughs> you know what I mean? So can you imagine? Imagine you know you're you're making you're you're earning 50 bucks a day inside the MPCA, and now you know when you convert it over to dollars, you you can you know you walk away with 150 bucks. That's freaking awesome. So. Uh, this is why we're I'm pushing MPCA like crazy, right? I'm I'm almost at 150 referrals. Not a lot of you guys are active active in there. Maybe about 20 of you guys are active. Um, so, but man, uh, you, earning Bitcoin is something that you should do because 
it's going to three thousand, right? It's going to two thousand, definitely. You know what I mean? And so your your money will double. Like, come on, that's just crazy. Um, anyways, <laughs> people don't want to people don't want to see the power of it, but it is what it is. I can I can talk about it till my eyes turn blue. Okay, so let's finish this off. It's been twenty minutes. That's a little bit longer than I wanted to go, but it's okay because I'm not doing. I don't do any reports any longer. Remember, and I don't do any. A report extra so I don't have anything to prepare for any longer I just find an article that's nice and I talk about it and that's it <laughs> you know I don't have to prepare like I used to any longer um so let's see what you guys have to say here uh, hi alls have a good Sunday okay next <laughs> let's keep it moving uh, sweet okay let's keep it moving excellent video currency 365 says Eric he says yes I recall stuff like the national oil law and IMF being pleased uh, with Iraq set up for diversification matters handled I also recall seeing an article reporting that the IMF reported uh, back to the UST Steve Munchen um, new, I, I, hold up. I can't say his name right, so I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to disrespect him like I told you guys. So let me just say Steve, the U.S., and he is the uh, U.S. Uh, uh, Treasury, okay, Secretary of Treasury. Um, <clears throat> What is it? Um, Let me try to say his name. Nunich? <laughs> I can't. I don't know. <laughs> new Nuchin? Nuchin? I think it's Nuchin. I can't remember. Anyways, uh, anyways, let's move on. Uh, Iraq passed whatever um, requirements currency bank matters at the time. Um, and Iraq is ready to basically, uh, was my take from the particular article. Now we see that the Iraq receiving the JFK banking medal. Yeah. Patricia says, good news. Hadia says, Iraq to supply gas to Kuwait. Soon Kuwait news. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Also, uh, Dennis says, awesome news. I think we're in the final push any day. Eric says, the National Security Council reports that the Battle of Nusu is nearing completion. Actually, okay, so that's cool. They, they actually said that today. So it says, imminent conclusion of the Battle of Liberation of Mosul. I wonder why they would say that. Maybe it's because they're going to have this guy very soon. And when they get Baghdadi, when they announce Baghdadi, it's a wrap. It's over. They'll give us everything else. Once they get give us Baghdadi right in this area, because guess where they're at? They're at the Nori they're at the Nori Mosque, right? That's where Baghdadi did um uh, announce the caliphate. So they're they're basically Hollywood scripting this. So what they wanna do is they wanna they wanna announce Baghdadi and they wanna at the same time that they, they're at this mosque. Right, and then they're going to announce Baghdadi, and then they also want to announce the end of of Mosul, right, right at the same mosque, and then everything's going to turn green. <laughs> That's exact. It's a Hollywood script, okay? So, eh, whatever. Uh, Roger says Mosul, Western Mosul is ninety three percent liberated. <laughs> well, yesterday we heard that it was only sixty percent or seventy percent. And we still got 30% more to go. Okay. So we, we the numbers, I'm, we're just following the map, brother. Uh, Brandon says the map is bull crap. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to use a cuss word, Brandon. <laughs> uh, so I just call it bull crap. The map is propaganda. Yeah, it is. But we're going to follow the map, Brandon, until it turns green. <laughs> until your face turns blue. <laughs> um, What else here? What else do you guys have? Nothing. Is this the HCL? <laughs> Did you listen to the art? Did you listen to the video? <laughs> um, okay, Red Star came through a couple of hours ago. It looks like two hours ago. Um, U.S. green light for Kurdistan to seize Kirkut oil and exports and export it to Israel. Agreement made? Question mark. U.S. controlling Iraq's decision? LOL. Um, well, no, not really, because like I said yesterday, Red Star, Prime Minister Abadi signed off on it before he went to Washington, <laughs> you know, um, so yeah, I thought I, I thought we, I thought we saw the signature, he definitely signed off on it before he left, that's why they were able to do it, 
You think that they would? You think that the Kirk, you know, Kirk, um, Kirsten region would just go and take the oil, you know, the oil field and and without bat without a body signature? He signed off on it, <laughs> you know. So, um, a body's claim: the economic crisis has become one of the past. Okay, maybe I'll read that later on uh, on the main channel. Thanks, Red Star. I probably I'll, I'll probably read this later on the on the main channel. Looks like something interesting. Unless there's other breaking news for me to read. Uh, and then let me see over here real quick. Damn, it's 25 minutes already. <clears throat> we open the door to investment in Iraq. We'll witness a great development in the oil and gas production. Okay. Uh, R.I.P. Steen Mills. She exposed how the cabal... Use black candidates to confuse voters to lose votes, deny power. Wow. And that's who? Cynthia McKinney. R.I.P. Okay. Uh, Calvin has here. This is the last. This is the last thing. Calvin has here. Counterterrorism units advance in these uh, in these districts, and uh, this this district over here is eighty percent, eighty five percent liberated. Okay, so. This one and this one, they have, um, let me see, he names three districts here, but he only circles two, so what's that all about, oh, never mind, there's down here, okay, so one's right here, one's right here, and one's right here, okay, gotcha, that's it, I think that's it, and then the map, okay, cool, that's it, guys. I'll talk to you guys um, later. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other video that's going to be coming. I do, you know, my goal is to post three videos here, uh, and it could be it could be one from me and, and two from other people. So if I can find something, if if Kenneth Story does something, or if Brightling does something, or you know, if if Mike posted something today, I'll post it over here. But and uh, if I think Stephen, I think Stephen did his um did his motivational speaking today, but he has to. I guess he has to put the video together, and then he'll send it to me. Uh, if he does, I'll post it here, and then maybe I'll maybe I'll check for other people like JoJo Johnson and see if anybody has some other stuff to post. Because I do want to post at least three videos here, here, and not just me. You know, maybe just one for me a day. And uh, you know, I did want to do a teaching though, so maybe I'll be back later and do a teaching. But this video has already gone way too long. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll do a teaching tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday. So maybe I'll post another video here, maybe from somebody else. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I'll do a teaching. We'll do the map update and I'll do a teaching. Okay? And then maybe something on cryptocurrency. All right? Eyes open. Bye.